Hello everybody and welcome back. Alright, so for today's video, we have Colossal Cthulhu 11 Unite. It's a new custom LEGO Beyblade and the first dual spin. Also, it's a balance type as you can probably see from the combo, which is 11 Unite. So, let's take a look at the bay. So, first off we have the chip, which is different from other chips because it is the first dual spin chip in the series. So, in comparison to... Um, Exo, which has the protrusions on these corners, and Anubis, which has the protrusions on these other corners. This one has no protrusions, meaning you can fit it on left spin bases and also right spin bases. So, yeah, that's the that's how these chips work. And it, it's pretty simple in design. It has some green and black, pretty basic. Next up, we have the Colossal Air Base, which, as the name suggests, it's very big. I'd say it's, like, comparison to Siege, it's it's probably bigger than Siege, maybe a little smaller, actually. It's, well, nevertheless, it's still pretty big. Also, I had to put so much tape on this thing, like, seriously, it was crazy, but, um, yeah, it's dual spin, so you can, have, you can of course, put your dual spin chips on there. Move the camera again, but, um, yeah, you can put your left spin chips in there, and right spin chips in there as well, and that's because of the spaces which are in these corners and in these corners on this one layer base, so you, can, you know, you can put both of those on there. But yeah, pretty big design, and I think it looks really cool. Next up, we have the 11 disc, which is a pretty basic balance disc. It originally came on Z Achilles. Um, yeah, I wanted to use it. I want to use a lighter disc because this is like a really big layer base, so I kind of want to use a lighter disc. And finally, the driver is Unite. And in comparison to U normal Unite, it has a rounder tip, which is fine. And the rubber is very big in comparison. Like, the speed up on this thing is actually insane. Like, you'll, you'll see it in battle. So, yeah, that's my review on the parts for Cthulhu. Now let's go into the test battles. Cthulhu test launch. So, pretty slow, as you can see. But, what if we do a rush launch so the rubber will make contact? Did you see that speed up? That was pretty good. That's very promising, in my opinion. That was pretty quick. Let's do it in left spin mode now. Oh, that was a huge hit. Huge hits from Cthulhu. Ooh, I think that was a tie. Come on, Taurus. Ooh, those speed ups. Man, this Unite driver is pretty bad. I feel like it's better in Justin. Oh, something flew out. Oh, right, it's the chip. Alright, that's fine. And there goes something else. And there goes the Kulu. Alright, let's go high drop. Jeez, that impact was crazy. I feel like Waspin mode is better. Whoa! That speed up was huge. Oh. Getting off balance. Ah, man. Disrespect. Oh, there goes something. Hey, it won with life after death. Well, I guess that's because Edge has, like, none. You know, I really hope that this bay wins that design contest. That was the quickest battle I've ever had. Finally, an actually good battle. These are some pretty good attacks. Come on, Cthulhu. Oh, holy moly. Um, that was something. This is a battle of the giant players. That impact. Hit. 
and the life after death one. Okay, so that was my video on Colossal Cthulhu 11 Unite. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty fun way to use, of course, since it's the first dual spin. So if you like that video, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I'll see you in the next video.